Tonight, we are heading to rural Kolioka, Tennessee, where this strange and heart-wrenching story begins. Most people know everyone else who lives there. If there are six degrees of separation in the world, there's only about one degree of separation here. In this farming community of about 5,000, you'll find a post office, gas station, and not much else. It's very small, very small there. Nothing ever happens there, I don't know. New tonight. Until, of course, it does. 15-year-old girl and 50-year-old man. At the center of a nationwide Amber Alert. It's been a year and a half now since 50-year-old high school teacher Tad Cummins ran off with his 15-year-old student. Today, some squarely blame him. The guy's burger should be drug out in the streets and beat. Others aren't so sure. I think they took advantage of each other in a way, a weird way. We've heard a lot of people say, well, she went willingly. She probably did. Mm -hmm. Got pulled in just as well. Um, she got pulled in. Many have made up their minds both in this small town and across the country. And it's to them that Elizabeth Thomas, now 17, wants to speak to directly tonight. Why talk now about what happened? Because I think it's time to. It's a year later. People saw the story play out. They think they know what happened. And they think that I'm a whore. They think that I like old men, and that's not the case. Before fate brought Elizabeth into Tad Cummins' class, she had been homeschooled her whole life. She was uh, somewhat of a tomboy, played really rough. She could switch to being really nice and sweet. Paige Griffith told us at the time of Elizabeth's disappearance that she had been a kind of surrogate mom, and her daughter Erin was Elizabeth's close friend. She'd come to my house and we would talk and watch TV, and eat junk food, and we just hung out together. <laughs> That's Elizabeth on the left play fighting with Erin in the back of a car. Yeah, you were. No, I was yeah, you it. were. Wasn't his name just... No! Her sister Sarah gave me a tour of Elizabeth's bedroom my sister likes fish during fish the day fish she fish. went missing. It told its own story of an adolescent caught between two ages. Oh, that's her Xbox? Yeah, On the one it. hand, the teen who bought herself an Xbox with money from her after school job. She just stayed up playing games. On the other, a child. She made the space. Still enchanted by princesses and ponies. Yet the home movie smiles mask what Elizabeth says is a dark reality. We had a lot of stuff go on behind closed doors that shouldn't have. Abusive? Very. Violent? Very. Physically violent? And no escape because you were homeschooled. Mm -hmm. The abuse so severe, she says, the kids finally report their own mother to Child Protective Services. Kimberly Thomas is removed from the home and is facing multiple counts of child abuse and neglect. She denies the charges, telling a local TV station, I'm not guilty of those. How did you find out what was going on at home? There's two sheriff's deputies in my yard. And Their father, Anthony Thomas, often working around the clock as an exterminator to support his five children, insisting when we spoke to him last year that he didn't know how bad things had gotten at home. It's hard for you to talk about, isn't it? Yeah. You don't like to think about what was happening. So I'm going to have to take a break. Yeah. Their mother's removal is a welcome relief, but soon Elizabeth is pushed into the teenage shark tank known as high school. First thing they did was call me ugly once I came to school. I mean, it's just boys being stupid, but I just stayed to myself. Was it easy making friends? I mean, they all had their little cliques. Can't really disrupt that. Elizabeth eventually finds one person she thinks she can trust, a popular and friendly health teacher, Tad Cummins. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how I felt to she was in his class in health, and he began to help her make this transition from home school to, to public school. 50-year-old Tad Cummins is quite the charmer. Murray County District Attorney Brett Cooper went to high school with him. It's kind of funny, kind of a cut-up, pretty outgoing guy. So you knew him, you saw him around. He and Jill, his, his wife, they were high school sweethearts and, and married the year they graduated high school. 
and they've been together the 31 years since. His wife Jill spoke to us when this first happened. God is the center of our marriage and our life and um, our faith is the most important thing to us. And I think it was to him too and, and still is. Cummins had even done mission work in the rainforest of Panama. He teaches Sunday school and sings in the church choir. What was it like growing up with him? Blood. He was your all-American dad. No matter what we were going through, he was the one you could call and would fix it. Tad Cummins flourishes in the classroom. The difference in Watch this YouTube video of him teaching how to perform CPR. See the difference so that I'm actually taking my weight off of him. He was the cool teacher. Like, everybody loved him. He was everyone's friend, everyone's mentor, helped so many people through so many things. Mm -hmm. And for Elizabeth, he's an encouraging adult role model, showering her with attention, even gifts. He gave me a Bible and it was just something from him. That kindness even extending outside the classroom, taking Elizabeth to church on Sundays with his wife. Why did he decide to take her to church? Our preacher's wife was going to be talking about abuse and how to get past it, get over it, and decided to invite Beth. We were helping her, I thought. Did you ever think anything of their interactions together? It was like a father-daughter relationship. It's the way I saw it, too. It's the way he would explain it. In fact, I called her our third daughter sometime. It all seems benign until that one day in the school cafeteria. I was standing there with a few friends, and then they said, are you hungry? And I went, I don't have a soul, or if I did, like I'd be hungry or something like that. And then he came to me and he pointed at me and said, my soul sees your soul. Was he trying to scare her or seduce her? Coming up, a health teacher grooming a young student. What would be his next move? Did you tell somebody? No. Why? I don't want to tell my parent that a grown man kissed me and I don't want to tell friends that a grown man kissed me. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.